you're probably saying to yourself, wow, what a grotesque sight. What a grotesque sight to start off this video. A man's gut bulging in and out of my screen. That's what I want to see. Disgusting. But I'm telling you, my gut is more appealing than WrestleMania 9. My gut bulging in and out is actually more appealing than this god-awful pay-per-view. I'm going to tell you something. WrestleMania 9. Uh, cool concept. You're in Las Vegas. I would go to Las Vegas WrestleMania. I would go to one of those 10 times out of 10. And the fact that it was outside a Caesars Palace is something you wouldn't even dare to see today. Well, one, because there's, they couldn't get enough people in there. Not enough money. But, but they just wouldn't even dare try it. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. That this was this had the makings to be really original, really neat. They ran with the whole theme. They put Howard Fink and Jim Ross in togas for Christ's sake. And what did they do? They botched it because of the card. And I'm not breaking it down match by match because there isn't one match on this card worth watching. Yes, there's some good matches, but nothing that I'm gonna say. Hey, you gotta go check out this match from WrestleMania Nine. The only thing redeeming about this pay per view is Bobby the Brain Heenan's commentary. Aside from that, I don't know what else to tell you. It was a pay per view taken in the middle of the day that featured the worst WrestleMania match of all time: Undertaker vs. Giant Gonzalez. Chloroform? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's a blemish on the Undertaker's record, and it's a stupid blemish, and it should be stricken from the record. Uh, there was other good things, okay? There maybe a couple other good things. Lex Luger had a nice entrance. He had some naked broads come out with him. Well, half naked. That's kind of neat. Like I said, Bobby the Brain Heenan, he did some good commentary, but nothing else. And let me tell you, this I'm keeping this short because I'm not giving this pay-per-view 10 minutes of critical analysis because there is no critical analysis when it comes to this. To th they got it right the next year with WrestleMania 10, and they had it somewhat right the year before, even though they got the main event switch. But WrestleMania 9, colossal failure. Absolutely colossal failure. You couldn't have put together... The, the card didn't even look good. You doinked the clown versus crush on the card. Didn't look great, okay? In a main event where you have Bret Hart versus Yokozuna, Bret Hart loses because that asshole Yokozuna and Mr. Fuji use powder and then hulk hogan who has to come steal the spotlight from everyone else everyone else oh my name is hulk hogan i gotta steal the spotlight from everyone else comes in and takes the title and i know that's vince mcmahon's decision but i'm telling you what hulk hogan and his black guy which he probably got from a hooker do not deserve to be on this pay-per-view they did not deserve to hold the wwf championship in 1993 and they did not deserve to take the spotlight away from bret hart the only you know what my recommendation is my official recommendation, my rating for this pay-per-view is god-awful trash tier. But my official WrestleMania 9 prediction, my official WrestleMania 9, not prediction, recommendation is take your VHS that features it, like I did as a child when I'd watch my hero, Bret Hart, who I'm named after, get showed up by Hulk Hogan, smash it over your knee, maybe light it on fire, and put on WrestleMania 10. Because WrestleMania 9 makes me sick to my stomach, and it makes me want to drink. Goodbye.